Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, um, actually this was a request from our, one of our friends on YouTube. Um, please put his name here. Um, so basically, uh, we're quite happy to announce that today this video has been requested by one of our clients online. So thank you so much for uh, asking questions and making this suggestion because that's a very good one to do. Uh, so basically in this video, I will show you how when we receive a contact from the alarm system, I will show you how to unlock doors with the ICT Protege GX system in fire unlock mode, okay? Now, keep in mind that this is just a video showing you how to use your access control and security system to trigger uh, a, an, an unlock function on doors. And basically for us, the fire unlock is something that will override schedules and everything else. When my input is open, the doors will remain unlocked, okay? No matter if you badge a card on them or not, they will remain unlocked. Okay, but again, you need to contact your fire marshals to make sure that this is allowed in your area or in your country. Um, but again, this is just to show you how this is done. It doesn't mean that this is something that is allowed in your, in your area. Okay, so again, this is very important. When we talk about fire alarms, we're not kidding. It's very important to be safe. Typically, when the fire alarm goes off, you will intercept the power supply on the mag locks to automatically make the doors to be free to exit, okay? So in this example, I'm showing you kind of the opposite to basically use an input from the alarm system or the fire alarm system, sorry, and then to unlock doors with door strikes, for instance, okay? Just as a precaution, okay, to have more doors unlocked than because something went bad, okay? But again, make sure you do the installations as per your local fire laws, okay? That this is not a, a, a workaround in any kind of way, okay? Thank you. So, all right, so basically, I'm going to show you how this is programmed. We need the input, okay, so basically to connect the relay from the fire alarm to it. Uh, we need a virtual output to trigger or deactivate the unlock. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. We need an area to enable the fire alarm input so it's always monitored, okay, and we need two programmable functions, one to do the fire unlock and one to do the opposite, which is basically relocking the doors when the system goes back to normal, okay? So let's have a look at how, how we can program this. All right, so the first step is to identify um, you know, or an existing area or create a new area to enable the input, okay? So what we want is when the input opens, we activate the virtual output that will then unlock the doors, okay, with the, the functions, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna use input three, okay? The first step in this case then is to have an area, okay? Um, so I create an area called fire, fire trigger area. Um, honestly, the name doesn't matter, but it, it's always good to have a name that makes sense with the application that we're using it with, okay? So I have my area. What I did earlier to, you know, make it simpler, I set the exit time to one second just to don't have to wait like 45 seconds when I arm, okay? I've set the rearm to two minutes, okay? So obviously this is an area that we want to be armed all the time, but if you have to make changes in the area and you disarm it, you have to do two minutes to do it, okay? So I have my area, um, exit delay one second, rearm two seconds, um, and you know, the rest is just to enable the rearm option, okay? So that's it for the area properties. Now, the next step is to create what we call a, an input type, okay? So the input type will tell the input, okay, I want you to do this when you open, and I want you to do that when you close, okay? So I create the, an input type called fire unlock, okay? I, I have assigned my output, which is called the fire unlock output, okay? I had labeled this previously. Okay, the output time you leave it to zero because we want the output to follow the zone input. Okay, so if the zone is output, uh, sorry, um, let me backtrack. If the zone is open, I want to activate the output. When the zone restores, I want to deactivate the output. Okay, so I set the time to zero. The last thing to do here, um, you enable under the options two tab, you enable the activate control output on alarm and deactivate the control output on restore. Okay, then Obviously, we want to pick the zone, so under programming and inputs, I've created or labeled zone three to be the fire alarm unlock input. Under area and input types, you assign area one to be the fire trigger area and input type one to be the fire unlock. Okay, and then you save. Wait a few, maybe 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds for the system to um, download the changes to the controller, okay? And then you can later arm the area when we want to start testing, okay? The next step here under automation and programmable functions, you need two of them, one to unlock, one to relock, okay? The type of function for both will be door control. Make sure the state is set to running because if the controller turns off for whatever reason, there's a, power, a long outage, 
when the system gets powered back, then the function will start automatically. So you know your system is protected uh, by the, the GX system. So, um, and then under the door control tab for the one to unlock, you want to use door function mode number two. So when the output is off and then turns on, okay? The mode will be fire control door unlock, which is basically like another level on top of latch unlock. This will basically unlock everything, okay? That is in the door group below. We select the output that we used in the input type previously, and then the door group to control is fire doors. In this case, I have my two doors on the training kit here, okay? For the relock one, um, on the general, it's the same as the previous one. Under door control, we use option five. Looks tricky, but in reality, what this means is when the output is on and turns off, we want to do the opposite of unlocking the door on fire. We basically do a relock, okay? So the door mode will be the same, which is number two for fire control door unlock. The output to check is the virtual output we created earlier, and then the group of doors is the same, all right? Again, when you save, wait maybe 10, 15 seconds so the download is completed, and then what you do is you right-click, start the functions like that, okay? Now I've made myself a status page to see the status of all those things that we've programmed. Okay, so let's go to monitoring and then status page view. I select the one called fire unlock. I like to have my events on the side to see what's going on. If anything doesn't work first shot, then it's good to see the events. All right, so what we want now is the fire area to be armed. So the input is monitored. As you can see, my virtual output is now off um, and the doors are closed and locked. Okay, and the input also is off. Look at what happens if I open zone three. Voila, the doors are unlocked, all right? Now, if I want, let's say, um, you know, the system, the fire alarm system has been verified, it was a false alarm, if the system is disarmed, then the output from the fire alarm is turned off. That's the same as turning the zone off like that, or uh, closing the zone, sorry. And then my doors are now locked and closed, okay? So again, this was how to configure the ICT Protege GX system to unlock doors on a fire alarm. I hope you liked the video. Obviously, if you have questions, suggestions, please send them down below. We always like to answer you quickly. And, um, and again, thank you so much for our uh, you know, uh, YouTube uh, follower who asked for this question because I think it was a good idea for a, a video. Um, so again, my name is Fred Berrejean from Inaxis. If you need any help, Go to the nexus.com website. You can reach support and sales from there. And obviously, like and subscribe to our channel because we want you to too. See you soon.